Deb Ferns, Camp Director of Babes with Bullets. And I'm Kay Mitchellick, the head instructor for Babes with Bullets. And Kay, one of the things you always do at the start of every camp is something called eye dominance with women. Uh, absolutely. When you're starting to shoot, one of the most important things you can do right off the bat is determine which is your dominant eye. Of course, you have to aim. And you have a natural aiming eye, that is your dominant eye. And some people are what is known as cross-dominant. I'm one of them. I have, I am right-handed, I shoot right-handed, yet my left eye is my dominant eye. So there's some problems that that that, that uh, brings up, and there are several ways to solve ways to solve that problem. And uh, and I, I know that there's a little test we do to determine eye dominance because so many women at our campuses said, "Well, I'm right-handed, so I'm automatically right right eye dominant," which we know a number of women, a large percentage of women are cross-dominant. Yeah, roughly 50% of women are cross-dominant. It's a much larger percentage than, than in the male population. Um, so, if you are cross-dominant, and like I said, I am cross-dominant. I'm right hand, left eye dominant. My left eye is my natural aiming eye. If you don't know which is your dominant eye, mm -hmm. a very easy little test is basically, I'm gonna look right at the camera here, and I'm going to make a little triangle with my hands, and while looking at the camera, I'm si simply going to bring that triangle up in front of my eye and look at the camera. Now I see the camera through that little hole that I'm forming with my hands. Mm -hmm. And as you see, when I slowly bring my hands back to my face, it comes right to my left eye because that is the dominant, dominant eye. eye. That is the eye I aim with. And you for, are I cross. tend to be, I've never been cross dominant. I've always done the same exercise that we did many years ago. And that was that I did the same triangle staring at the camera I bring my little triangle, I never lose sight of the camera or my little focal point, and I bring my hand straight back till they touch my eye frame glasses, and lo and behold, I'm right eye dominant. Okay, so you're definitely, first thing you need to do is just determine which is your dominant eye. If you do happen to be cross dominant, then there are some, some things you can do to solve the little problems that it, uh, that, that creates. So when you have someone who's cross dominant, Mm -hmm. You have them bring up a firearm, get into a firing stance. All right, as a, if you're going to use your weak eye, I'm right-handed and I've always shot with my weak eye. So I actually, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to close my dominant eye. And when I do that, I have a good sight picture with my strong, I mean with that, that weak eye. If Deb puts a piece of tape over my lens right now, now I can open my dominant eye with no problem at all. I still see that good sight picture with my weak eye. I still have all my peripheral vision. This little piece of frosted tape is a little annoying, but it but it uh, lets in all the light. Uh, it lets me relax. I don't have to scrunch up my face, you know, and, and worry about keeping that dominant eye closed. So this is one method of overcoming that cross dominance problem. Now, if I were probably starting from scratch, I've been shooting a long time, and that's the way I've always shot, and I'm kind of hooked on it. Uh, if I were starting from scratch, I believe Another method I would use is simply with a handgun, you have the option of simply slightly moving, maybe tucking your chin in towards your, your shoulder just a tad, and then moving the sight under that dominant eye. So now I would be shooting with my left eye, which is my dominant eye. Now that you understand a little bit about eye dominance and you really want to go out and try this at the range, where can they go to find a place to shoot? Wheretoshoot.org. Great. And remember, Firearm safety is your responsibility.